Hi everyone, I am Manish. I am an IIT graduate. I have worked at Samsung as a machine learning engineer. In total, I have around 7 years of experience working on machine learning and AI. And during my journey, I have worked on several cutting edge AI models. But if I have to start learning machine learning now, in 2025, I will do things very differently. Why? Because I made mistakes and mistakes have slowed me down and I don't want you to make the same mistakes. If I talk about today and you want to start your journey in ML in 2025, the learning landscape has evolved because in 2016, resources were scattered. We didn't have clear path for NLP or computer vision and there was no practical use case of generative AI at that time. I had to figure out things myself in that process I focused a lot on theory and maths, thinking that it matters the most. But in reality, employers cares about the practical skills more than theoretical skills. Now, if I were to start over in 2025, I wouldn't start with endless math lectures. Instead, I will follow these five key steps. So let's get started. Step one, Python, the most obvious one. Every time someone talks about learning AI or machine learning, the first thing that you hear is about learning Python. But why Python is the go-to choice? And how much Python do you actually need to learn? Because I get it, Python is a huge language. But the reason this language is the most popular language is because it makes your life easier. Think about it. When you are working with AI or ML, you are dealing with a lot of complex stuff. Data pre-processing, linear algebra, neural networks, deep learning. And you don't want to write all of that from scratch, right? Well. With Python, you don't have to. There is a library for almost everything. Like NumPy handles your maths. Pandas makes working with data easy. Matplotlib and Seaborn are for visualizations. And then you have got the big ones like TensorFlow and PyTorch for deep learning. So instead of spending weeks in writing code for basic things, you can focus on building models and experimenting with machine learning. Now talking about how much time you need to learn Python, if you are beginner, you can spend around two months in learning Python. And if you are intermediate or advanced, you can complete Python within a month. Let's now go to the next step. Let's talk about a step that makes a lot of people nervous. Maths. Most people hit this step and think, oh no, I'm not good with maths. Is machine learning even for me? But guess what? That's where many people pause their learning journey or worse, give up entirely. But trust me, the math you actually need for machine learning is not as scary as it seems. So how much math you really need to learn? Here is the good news. You don't need to be a genius in maths to succeed in AI or ML. Most of the math you need is of undergraduate level that you have already covered in your colleges. If I have to break it down for you, it would be linear algebra because at the core of every ML model are matrices, vectors and transformation, probability and statistics. This is super important because ML models are all about making predictions and a little bit of calculus to understand derivatives and gradients because these concepts are used in optimization algorithms like gradient descent. That's it. And honestly, you don't even need to learn all of it up front. You can learn the basics of all these things that we discussed and go deeper into the concepts while building your projects in machine learning. That's how I would learn maths if I have to. And talking about the time that you have to spend, you can spend around one month to learn maths. Do not spend more than one month. Step three and step four. Now we are at the fun part, machine learning and deep learning. This is where you will start building models make prediction and see your code come to life. But here is where most of the people get stuck. Should I learn machine learning first or should I skip machine learning and directly go to deep learning or generative AI? Do I need to learn both? Let me make it simple. You need to understand both machine learning and deep learning, but you don't need to master everything right away. Let's first talk about the difference between machine learning and deep learning. When we talk about machine learning, it's a subfield under AI where machines learn from real world data. And when the size of this data becomes very, very large and the model size becomes large, we call it as deep learning. This was the simple difference between machine learning and deep learning. So now where should you start? Start with machine learning first. Why? Because it's important to understand the core ML concepts before going into complex neural networks. Let me give you a quick roadmap of this step. Start with supervised learning. This includes algorithms like linear regression, logistic regression, support vector machines, decision trees, 
random forest. These are some of the most widely used models in real world projects. Once supervised learning is done, move to unsupervised learning. This is where you learn techniques like clustering and dimensionality reduction. It is helpful when you are dealing with unlabeled data, for example, customer segmentation or anomaly detection. Now, once you are done with ML, never directly jump on deep learning. First, try to build a few ML models and learn the basics. After this only, move to deep learning. Start with neural networks and tools like TensorFlow or PyTorch. Here is what you need to know at a beginner level. Feed forward neural networks, convolutional neural networks for images, recurrent neural networks for time series and text. And don't worry, you don't need to become an expert right away. Focus on understanding the architecture and building small projects. The goal is to move from theory to real world projects as early as possible. Moving on to the last step, project. Now, once you have a hold on the topics, it's time for you to move on to building projects because this is where you will start applying your logic and start building models. For projects, one of the best platforms is Kegel. You can start with projects like Digit Recognizer and House Price Prediction and then move to more complex projects. The list of more projects is mentioned in the description box. All right. So this was the roadmap that I would follow in 2025. You don't need to learn everything perfectly before you start. The key is to keep building, experimenting and learning by doing. Remember, the AI ML field is growing faster than ever. The opportunities are endless, but you need to focus on practical skills that employers are looking for. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more informative videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.